Hello. Hello, Miss. Hi, Ellen Nilsson. How are you? Fine, I'm pretty good in you. What's going on with the lights? Hello, teacher. Hello, Jorge, how are you? I'm fine. You're and fine? You? I'm fine too. Good. Thank you so much for asking. Okay. Se mira oscuro su pantalla. Yes, eso estoy viendo. I don't know why. Okay. Vamos a cambiar de lugar. Just give me one second. Okay, now it's different, right? Yes. Okay, you see, I may be honest. Better. <laughs> it's better now. Very good job. Okay, let me see. Let's wait for your classmates. Gabriela, she's already in the class. Mm. Sí, es que estaba haciendo una prueba con la cámara. Este es el teléfono. Who's that? <laughs> es que la cámara de la laptop es mm -hmm. mucho menor calidad. Ah, ok. Pero igual. Como lo que importa es que hablemos, no que nos veamos. <laughs> no, ambas cosas que nos veamos también y que hablemos. Ya. Yeah. Sí. <laughs> sí, claro que sí. Bien. Hi, Gaby. Hi, teacher. How was your weekend? I think it's great. Okay, great. Because I went to the beach. You went to the family. beach, really? Wow. Yes. That is interesting, you know? Yes. Really nice. We enjoy it. You enjoyed it. And that's great. And you, Jorge, how was your weekend? What did you do? Mm. The last Saturday yes. went to my mom to terminal. ¿Cómo se dice? Mm -hmm. Terminal, la, la, el lugar de buses. Yeah. Bus station. Bus station. Mm -hmm. Can be bus station. Um, no more yeah. in my in my house with my okay. my daughters. With your daughters, um, okay, interesting. Very good job. Let me see. I already have Josué. Josué in the class. Hi, Josué. What are you? I cannot see you. ¿Por qué se esconde, Josué? Hello, teacher. Hello, Josué. Uh, teacher, dice Glenda de que dentro de unos minutos se va a conectar. Solo termina algo. Ok. <laughs> ok, Glenda. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Bien, class, let's start right now. Ya tres minutos. Bien. On last Friday, we were finishing section number two, right? So this week is going to be a little bit more relaxed because we only have one section, section number three. If you see, and if you go and visit the platform, this is the topic that we have for section number three. Look, 
What's your neighborhood like? What is your neighborhood like? If you still remember, in one of the courses, we were practicing about this structure. What in like? Do you remember? What type of information are we going to get when we ask what in like? What type of information are we going to get when we ask what in like? In this case, to talk about places, not people. Uh -huh. ¿Qué tipo de información obtenemos con esta pregunta? Con what and like at the end. Una description. Uh -huh. Una descripción en este caso del lugar. ¿Y qué utilizamos para describir personas y lugares? What are we going to use to describe people and places? Do you remember? Adjective. There we go. Adjectives. So, this is what I need you to keep on mind. That we are going to be describing the neighborhood, your neighborhood, the place in which you are living in this moment. And for that, we are going to use adjectives. What's your neighborhood like? What is the meaning of neighborhood? What is the meaning of neighborhood class? What is this? ¿Qué significa La colonia donde vivimos. Uh -huh. En inglés, la traducción literal sería el vecindario. Pero sí, puede ser la colonia donde nosotros vivimos. Traducida ya al español. Okay, very good job. What's your neighborhood like? So, as we need to describe places, we are going to use there is and there are. And we also are going to include the expressions want, any, and some. So the topic for this class is this. There is, there are, one, any, and some. If you still remember, there is and there are, significa I. En español sería el verbo haber, I. Porque estamos describiendo, hay un carro, hay una casa, hay dos vecinos. There is, there are, singular and plural. So, this is class number five. Today is Monday and this is the pre-intermediate two class, okay? So, let's start right now. Let me see. I already have Rita in the class. And as I want you to improve your English and your pronunciation, we are going to have as well a tongue twister for today because it's necessary so you can practice pronunciation. If you see, this is a very easy tongue twister, but we need to practice a lot. On Friday, we were practicing the words paper and paper. But in this case, if you see, we are going to practice this pronunciation. Want and want. Para practicar el pasado. ¿Saben qué es el pasado? ¿Cuál es el presente de ese verbo? Want. ¿Cuál sería el presente del verbo want? Because this verb is in past already. Win. Win. ¿Y qué es eso en inglés? Win. ¿Cómo ganar? Ganar. Muy bien. Entonces vamos a estar utilizando el pasado del verbo win, ganar, ganó, want. Y dice así, want, want, was. A race horse. Two, two, was, one, two. One, one, 
won one race. Choo Choo won one two. As I have mentioned before, maybe in Spanish it doesn't make sense. En español la traducción no tiene sentido, pero en inglés no sirve para pronunciar palabras con similitud en pronunciación. Uno, uno, había una carrera de caballos. Los dos, eh, was one, two, dice, había una también, dice, uno, uno, ganó una carrera y dos dos ganó una también significa que uno uno es un competidor y dos dos es el nombre del otro competidor está hablando de dos personas uno uno y dos dos okay so let me try pronouncing this tongue twister and then you are going to be practicing with this one as well okay here I go the first time slow one one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One one won one race. Two two won one two. One one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One one won one race. Two two won one two. Okay. So, ¿qué palabras tenemos que se parecen? La pronunciation. Tenemos want, um, esta, y el verbo en pasado, want and want, 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 ok, let's repeat, want, want, ganó, want, y esta otra, look, to, con también, to, to, Two. Si se fijan, suenan igual al final. Two, 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 two. One, one. One and one. Bien, class. Lo repito nuevamente. Escuchen. Be careful. Listen carefully. And here we go. One, one was a race horse. Two, two was one, two. One, 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 one race. Two, two, one, one, two. One one was a race horse, two two was one two, one 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 race, two two one one two. So I'm going to give you one minute so you can practice there by yourself and then we are going to start. Practiquen un minuto entre ustedes ahí mismo, ustedes solitos. Y luego empiezo, ok? Go please. Questions in pronunciation, just let me know. Please, what is the difference the pronunciation to and to? Actually, is similar pronunciation. To. Okay, ah. to and to. Mm, okay. Creería que una es más larga, el número dos, to, y, el, y to también es un poquito más corto. But it, it sounds the same. To, to. To, to. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, una pregunta. Uh -huh. Es won y was, ¿verdad? Was, ajá, y want. Want. Won. Won. Así como se lee, won, E-W-O-N, ah. won. Ok. Yes, great. Ok, so I already have 10 students, so it means that all of you are going to participate. So, teacher. Yes, tell me. Lo puedo intentar. Sure, why not? Y okay. luego elige. Vamos a hacer la misma. Ellen Nilsson va a elegir quien sigue. Okay, go please. Don't worry. <coughs> one, one was a race horse. Two, two was. One, two. One, one, one. One race. Two, two, one. On two. Okay, one more time. Faster. Faster, okay. please. Eh, uh -huh. Más rápido, faster. Ah, más rápido, ok. Yes, faster, yes. Si se me traba la lengua. Es la idea, decirlo rápido. Okay. Despacio no, faster, mm. más rápido, faster. Go, please. Ok. One, one was a race horse, two, two was, one, two, one, 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 race, two, two, one, 
of one, two. There we go. Very good job. Excellent. Oh. Excellent. Ellen Wilson, pick one of your classmates. Uh, Rita. Rita, go please. Thank you, Eleni. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. When one was a race horse to two was one two. When one want one race to two want one two. Great. Now the second time faster. Go please. <laughs> when one was a race horse to two was one two. When one 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 race to two one one two okay you see this was great second time was better fue más rápido y mejor rita pick one of your classmates please quien sigue pick one of your classmates saben que es el verbo pick que será pick cuando les digo esto que significa ¿Qué es pick? Escoger, seleccionar. Escoger, se, elegir, muy bien. Entonces, elijan a uno de sus compañeros para que vayamos también acostumbrándonos a estas instrucciones. Great, Rita, pick bueno. one of your classmates, please. Eh, Gaby. Gaby, ok, Have Gaby. Good pronunciation. Ok, great. So, Gaby, remember, you're going to say this tongue twister two times, twice. The first time is slow, and the second okay. time faster. Okay, go. Okay, try, try. <laughs> yes, I know. One, one was a race horse, two, two was one, two, one, 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 one race, two, two, one, one, two. Okay, second time, faster. One, one was a race horse, two, two was one, two, one, 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 one race, two, two, one, one, two. Okay, very good pronunciation. You did it great. Gaby, pick one of your classmates. Let me see. Lupita? Okay, Lupita. I, I guess, yeah, yeah, she's there, but she says that she has a meeting. Okay. So another one. Um, Gustavo. Gustavo, go please. No estoy. Yes, you're there. <laughs> one one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One 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 race. Two two one one two. Okay, second time faster, Gustavo. One one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One 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 race. Two two one one two. There we go. Excellent, excellent pronunciation. Gustavo, great job. Pick one of your classmates. Um, Eden, I know. Ivania. Ivania, go ahead, please. Remember, first time slow, second time faster. Go, please. Okay, miss. One one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One 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 race. Two two one one two. <laughs> okay, second time faster. Okay. One one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One 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 <laughs> race. <laughs> two two one one two. <laughs> great, great job. <laughs> you see, están mejorando, chicos. Great job, Ivania. Great job. Pick one of your classmates. Um, okay. Glenda. Okay, Glenda, go ahead and try. Okay. One one was but pardon. One was was a race horse. Two two one was one two. One 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 race. Two two one one two. Okay, great. Second time faster. Okay. One one was a race horse, two two was one two, one 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 race, two yes. two one one two. There we go. Excellent. You did it. You did it, Glenda. Glenda. Excellent job. Pick one of your classmates. Uh, Josue. Josue, go please. I know you can do it, Josue. Okay. Um one one was a race. Horse two two was 
uh, one two uh, one 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 race two two one one two great great job second time faster vamos a hacer más one, rápido one was as race horse yes. two two was one two one 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 uh, race two two one one two great job great pronunciation excellent Jose. pick one of your classmates um, Samuel. Okay, Samuel, try please. I know you can do it. The one one was a rice horse. The two two was one two. The one 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 rice. Yes. The two two one 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 two. Great, great. Second time, faster. Mouse. The one one was a rice horse. The two two was one two. The one, 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 one rice, the two, two, one, one, two. Great job, great job. Y, y todos lo han podido hacer muy bien, excellent job. So pick one of your classmates, please, Samuel. I guess we are missing. Faltan dos, creería. Ah, Lupita no puede. Mm, I Lore. have a Lore and Alberto. Yes, go please. Lore and Carlos. Ok. Oh, vamos a intentarlo. I know you can do it. Vamos a ver. One one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One 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 on race. Two two one on two. Ok, one two. Second time faster, Lorena. <coughs> I'm sorry. One one was a race horse. Two two was on two. One, one, one on right, two, two, one on two. Okay, one, two, okay. Relax, I know you can do it. Are you okay, Lorena, or are you sick? sick. You're sick, right? Yes, I could <laughs> notice. So don't worry, thank you so much for the effort. <laughs> Gracias. Pick one of your classmates, Lorena. Perdón? Pick one of your classmates. Uh, ¿Quién falta? Ahí ya me perdí. Alberto, Carlos, de okay. Hermes. Alberto. Alberto, go please. Ok. <laughs> one, one was a race horse. Two, two was one, two. One, 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 one race. Two, two, one, one, two. Ok. Second time, faster. Ok. One, one was a race horse. Two, two, two was one, two. One, 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 one race. Two, two, one, one, two. Wow, great pronunciation. No corrections. Alberto, I am missing. Carlos. Carlos, and I don't know if Lupita is still there. No, yes, just Carlos. Okay. One one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One 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 race. Two two one one two. Okay, second time faster, Carlos. Faster. One, Okay, one one was a race horse, two two was one two, one 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 race, two two one one two. Very good pronunciation. So, hey, let me say congratulations to all of you. You are doing it great. Today, Teacher, yes. Con ese trabalengo me acabo de acordar del, del video que les compartí. Ah, ya me acordé. El Nelson me envía videos de inglés, deberíamos entrar a la clase también, ¿verdad? <risa> ¿Por qué no? Dicen. Yeah, right, you know, esta vez solo repetimos dos veces. Vamos a tratar de hacerlo la siguiente oportunidad tres veces, la tercera vez más rápida. Don't be afraid to practice and to pronounce because I know you can do it, right? Okay, so the topic for today, let me show you the topic for today. For the ones who were not here, los que no estaban aquí todavía, I said that we were going to talk about, no, no es esta su clase. Ustedes son pre-intermedio, just give me one sec. Where is it? Aquí estamos. Look, there is and there are. Want any and some. Vamos a ver, class. If you see, 
We are going to have two exercises for today. The first one, it's a conversation that we have in the platform. I am your new neighbor. We are going just to listen to the conversation. And as a second activity, look, we are going to be talking about your neighborhoods, but specifically about the places in the neighborhood. Look. We are going to talk about places in the neighborhood and the definitions. How do we get definitions about these places? But before we go to this activity, let's go to the platform so we can listen to the conversation and practice as well. Okay, so here we go. Vamos a la platform. Here we go. Section number three, we are in section number three. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are one, any, and some. Look. We are going to listen about places in town. Lugares que hay en la ciudad. No son todos los lugares, pero son muchos ejemplos. We have many examples here. Here we go. Welcome everybody to section eight. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. <laughs> a barber shop? Okay, let's listen again to the conversation. Welcome, everybody, to Section 8. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Okay, who is the conversation or who is having this conversation? Let me see. I guess now. Who are the participants in this conversation? What is the name of this lady? What's her name? Mrs. Day. Mrs. Day, la señora Día, o Día será Día, right? And what is his name? What is this boy's name? Jack. 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 Yeah. Exactly. Jack and Mrs. Day, they are having a conversation. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor. Oh, he's the new boy in town new boy in town, right? Es el chico nuevo. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just, look at this verb, moved in. Moved in, it's in past. What is the meaning of this class, moved in? Como acabo de llegar o... Ajá, ¿cómo lo traducimos? Mudó. Me mudé, así literal. Mudó. Me moví, me mudé en español. I just moved in. Just es algo reciente, miren. Hace poco me mudé. Oh, yes. 
I'm looking for, what is the first place in town he is looking for? Primer lugar de la ciudad que busca. A grocery store. What can we get in a grocery store? Jorge, what can we buy or what can we get in a grocery store? What can we buy in a grocery store? ¿Qué podemos comprar? What kind of products? Mm -hmm. Is a grocery store similar to a supermarket? Donde vienen verduras, frutas. Frutas, verduras, solo eso será. Um, no es lo que le llaman abarrotería. Mm, no. no, una grocery store, fíjense que es... Ok, pongamos las diferencias. Number one, la que está en su colonia, la tienda, la tiendita, la del vecino, ¿cómo le llamaríamos a eso? Porque esa no es una grocery store. Esa es, puede ser convenience store, combi, convenience store, de conveniencia, tienda de conveniencia, right, convenience store. They are very small stores. But a grocery store is very similar to a supermarket sometimes. You can find vegetables, you can find fruit, you can find meat, dairy products. So this is a grocery store, okay? ¿Qué le llamamos como mini super? Mini super, ajá. ¿Será que tenemos mini super? O una tienda que esté bien, bien equipada. Grocery store. Yeah, that is a grocery store. Más pequeñita que un super, ¿ok? Are there any around here? Are there any around here? Habrá una cerca de aquí. Around here. Are there any around here? Yes. There are some. Where? Where are the grocery stores in town? Who can tell me? ¿A dónde quedan las grocery stores? Deme la dirección. Give me the direction, please. There are some in a pine. Okay, street. very good. On Pine Street. Very good. If you go to Pine Street, you are going to find some grocery stores. Second place in town. What is this class? What is a laundry mat? What is that? Laundromat. What comes to your mind when we say laundromat? ¿A qué se les parece esta, esta palabra, laundromat? Laundry service. Uh -huh. It lavandería. comes from laundry. Viene de la palabra laundry. Lavandería, lavandería. lavar. Exactly. So, this is a synonym. Laundromat or laundry place or laundry, decimos nada más. But laundromat is la lavandería, is the name of the place. Is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Look, what is a shopping center? No hay que tenemos en el país, ¿verdad? Shopping center, what is this? <laughs> Centro de compras, un centro comercial. Sí, centro, centro comercial, muy bien. Como el centro comercial, le llamamos también shopping center. Shopping center. So, there's one across from the shopping center. Le bien. pregunto, ¿ok? Where is the laundromat? Where is the laundromat at? ¿A dónde está el laundromat? Deme las direcciones. Where is it? Across from the shopping center. Yes, it's across from the shopping center. And where is the grocery store? Or where can I find a grocery store? Gabriela, where is the grocery store? Oh, 
on Pine Street. Okay, and where is the laundromat? Across from the shopping center. There we go, thank you. And take a look at the last comment. ¿Por qué le habrá dicho esto? By the way, by the way, ¿saben qué significa esto? By the way, this is an expression that we use in English. Por cierto, por cierto, by the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. ¿A qué se debe ese comentario, clase? There is a barber shop. El cabello muy largo. Por su cabellera. <laughs> Look, but listen to his question. A barber shop. He didn't get it. No entendía, right? So, just look at this guy's hair. It's a long hair, guys, right? And this is an old lady. Es una señora ya adulta. So, vamos a ver. Vocabulario, pronunciación que necesitemos repasar. I guess not, right? Because it's very clear. Just new vocabulary or vocabulary that we are going to use. Neighbor, grocery store, laundromat, shopping center, and barber shop, okay? Places in town and neighbor, que es vecino. Grocery store, laundromat, shopping center, Barbershop. Ah, and this expression. Please. Utilicemos esta expresión también. By the way, new expression. Por cierto, by the way. Here we go. Let's go to the explanation part. There is and there are. We already know how to use this topic, but now we are not going to have the explanation. Let's go to practice. Vamos a practicar, ¿ok? There is significa hay para singular, there are, hay pero para plural. So look at this exercise. I have places in town in this exercise and I need you to match. Match the places and the definitions. Match the places and the definitions, ¿ok? So you are going to work in pairs. So you can have the definition and the correct place, okay? Is it clear what we are going to do right now? Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Match the definition with the correct place, okay? Let's go and work in pairs right now. Or maybe groups of three. Prefiero grupos de tres por si alguien no puede entrar. Okay. Aquí vamos. Go, please. Ya les envío el ejercicio. Work in pairs. Here we go. That are F. Okay, I know. 
you were trying to share a screen, right? Yes. That's true. Okay, yes. so yeah, Thank you. don't worry. Grocery store. Grocery store. Uh, Get food. Uh-huh. Letter A. 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 Number three, her salon. C. C. Get a haircut. Laundromat. laundromat. G. Wash and dry your clothes. Newsstand, ese no sé qué significa. News. Donde venden periódicos. Ah, newspaper. Okay. Buy newspapers and magazines. <laughs> Stereo. Letter D. Can connect to the internet now. Letter C D. Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Loading store, find your fashion. Letter G, yes. Wash and write your cloud. Uh, loading store, grocery store, hair salon. Hair salon. In hair salon, get a haircut. Letter G, for me. Wash and write your cloud. Gloria Star es como, Miss, corríjame, no es como el ropero. Gloria Star, no, it's a place in which you going by. Close. Ah, mm -hmm. going by. Ah, find a new fashion. Find new fashion fashions, yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Find new fashions, yes. Londra, sí, el wash and dry your clothes. Eso sí, Gustavo. Mm -hmm. Ay, que en la tres, en la Lero C. Mm -hmm. uh, New Stand Stadium, vamos a ver. Uh, New Stand by New Get the first cue, eh, sí. Eh, sí. Uh, in, in Stadium, uh, can connect to internet yeah. Wi Fi. Eso, la B, little B. La Stadium. In yeah, Stadium. C again, a caution. Learn E. In okay. uh, Newstand yeah. is by new. Uh, uh, by by new papers and magazines. Magazine. Yes. Uh, ¿Cuál te falta? In the letter A. Finish. Okay. Las cinco, new stand. New stand. New stand. Ay, qué mierda. Eh, new. New stand pudiera ser. New. Bueno, dejémosla pendiente, veamos cómo No, yo la busco, espera. Vaya. Stand. Ah, es donde encuentras magazine, creo que decía por ahí. Vaya compañero, entonces, Clothing Stores. No sería Fin New Fashion, donde encuentra ropa nueva. Fin New Fashion. Ah, sí. O sea... Hay que no. hacer la pregunta y hacer la respuesta. Ajá, what so... Yo no entendí. ¿Qué? Yo igual me levanté, compañero. ¿Qué? Ajá. ¿Qué? Ay, perdón, yo me levanté y me dejé a cargo a él. Entonces, y el Enil, acuérdense me... que hay un, hay un botón que dice aquí pedir ayuda, siempre ocúpenlo. ¿A dónde, Ticha? No. Bueno, a ustedes les tienen que aparecer. Cuando estamos en salas, hay varias opciones. Ah, ok. Así que me Entonces, manda a llamar directamente. Bien, go. Entonces denos copia. No, Don't es... worry. ¿Qué tenemos que hacer? Ajá, eso. ¿Qué hay que hacer? Relacionar. No, no, no. Look, no dice, ajá, match the places and the definitions. Dice, vamos simplemente a eh, unir la primera columna con los números, okay. que es el lugar, con la definición. ¿Qué es una clothing store? 
Ah, sería okay. la 1 con la F o estamos a mal yes. ahí. No, that's ah, okay. ¿verdad? Find your ah, questions, yes. Ok, Entendi. perfecto. Entonces, okay. sí. no estábamos tan perdidos. No, no, oh, you sí. were not. Gracias. Sí. Grocery store. Wash and do chores. Again. Sponsor. You Pero know. ver, entonces sería grocery uh, Circuit can connect to the internet. It falls on a small little for the home. It falls. Uh, para mí sería la 2, sería la A. Pero veamos qué significa. Usted tiene ahí a la mano el traductor, compañero. No, compañero. Ah, espérame. It falls. Esta sería así. Vaya. Oh. No, 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 pero espérense, usted traduzca <risa> también, conseguir ah, comida eso es. y pequeña. Démosle. Ajá, va, ok. Air, air sal, salón. Ajá. Salón, ¿cómo serías? Hair. Hair. Salón. ¿Hm? Y normal. Hair salón. Hair salón. Hair court, cabal. La entrevista está bien. Ajá. La tres para mí sería la C. La cuatro. Laundromat. The newspaper and the magazines. Okay, time to come back and to compare your answers. Algunos no habían terminado todavía. But no, we are going to compare. So I need you to read the description and the definition. Like this one. Look, number one. What's a clothing store? What's a clothing store? It's a place where you find new fashions, okay? What is a clothing store? It's a place where you find new fashions. Así lo vamos a leer, okay? So, Gustavo, go with number two, please. Number two. The grocery store yeah. is a... Okay. So read it, please. Leamos la completa. What it's a grocery store. What's a, a grocery store? Yeah. Get get food and a small item. Huh? One more time. Sorry, it's sorry. A place. What's a grocery store? It's a place where you get food and small items for the home. Very good job. Continue with Jorge. Number three. Here is salon. Okay. Okay, go please. What's a grocery? Okay, no, uh, number what, three. What's a hair salon? It's a place where you uh, get a haircut. Very good job. You get a haircut. And Nilsson, number four. Laundro mat. It's a place where you wash and dry your clothes. Okay, but one more time, make the question. What's a laundromat? Make the what's question and a, then the definition. What's a laundromat? It's a place where you wash and dry your clothes. Very good job, Gabriela. News stand, news 
ten. What's a newsstand? It's a place where you uh, buy newspaper and magazines. There we go. Stadium, stadium. Samuel, number six. Stadium. There was a... Stadium. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a stadium. It's a place where you... See a game or a concert. Very good job. What's a stadium? It's a place where you see a game or a concert. Great job. Rita, Wi Fi hotspot. Where is a Wi Fi hotspot? And. and it's a place where you. Uh, can connect to the internet. Can connect to the internet. Very good job. So, I don't know. Alguien que pueda compartir su pantalla para que pongamos acá el literal correcto. Me está costando escribir en mi compu. Comparta la pantalla para que sus compañeros puedan chequear. Ok, please. Pon las respuestas, por favor. Go ahead, please. Okay, there we have letter F, A, C, G, D, E, B. Do you have the same or do you have a different one? Class? I guess you have the same, right? Todos tenemos lo mismo. Yeah. Yeah, right? I guess so. Excellent job. But if you see, what are we missing? No hace falta algo. What are we missing? The last part of the exercise. So let me ask you, class, what is a coffee shop? What's a coffee shop? Give me one definition for coffee shop. What is a coffee shop? It's a place where you drink coffee with your uh -huh. girlfriend. We only hmm? drink coffee. Mm -hmm. and, and there we go, Ivania. We can drink coffee and eat. Dessert yeah, or yeah, dessert? Dessert, yeah. very Desserts. good. There we go. ¿Qué más podemos encontrar en un coffee shop? Sandwich. Okay, sandwich. Or croissant. Croissant, sandwich, right? Yes. What do you think about this one? Can you connect to internet as well in a coffee shop? Yeah, right, why not? So, very good job. Give me a definition for this one, drugstore. What is a drugstore? What's a drugstore? Farmacia. Okay, but give me the definition. It's a place where... What it's is a drugstore? It's a place where uh -huh. you can buy... Uh, cats? How do you say? Medicine? Cats? Uh, pero decir, um, no pastillas, sino que tienen otro nombre. Ah, eso ya lo vimos también. ¿Cómo se llamaba eso? ¿Quién se acuerda? Pills. 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 Dimos una Gracias. lección. Muy bien. Gracias. Ok, yo escuché gatos. Cats, ¿no? Yo estaba. <laughs> oh, you can't watch. Okay. No. It's a place in which you can get pills or medicine. Very good job. But you know, nowadays we can get so many stuff. No solo podemos comprar medicine in a drugstore. Hay tantas cositas extras que pueden comprar en una drugstore. Right? For example, eh, food. Shampoo. Shampoo, exactly. No sé por qué ven. But that's okay, right? So, again, Mas, what is a gas station? What's a gas station class? Who can try? Give me one definition. What is a gas station? I know you already know the answer, but in English, what is a gas station? Rita, go ahead and try, please. 
It's a place uh, have uh, many products. Okay. Um, um, I, I don't remember, how do you say combustible? Gas. Gas? Uh -huh. gas. Only gas. Yes. Remember mm, that gas, gas is oh, the yeah. short way or gasoline. Gas is la forma corta de gasoline. Ah. Y oil es algo diferente. ¿Qué es oil? Es el, ¿Qué es clase? As, aceite. Aceite, uh -huh. so it's different. Uh -huh. So yes, very oh. good. One more time, please, Rita. What is a gas station? It's a place uh, where uh, you have uh, many products, uh, okay. gas okay. and medicine. Okay. Uh, water. Yeah, right? I, <laughs> uh, I don't remember. I for Tyrus. <laughs> okay, you may imagine. Yes. Uh -huh. You can get you can get checked also the air for your flats, the, the tire. If it is flat, it's that is desinflado también. Muy bien. Glenda. Please, how do you say um tajero? ATM. Uh, ATM, ATM. Así se le dicen a los cajeros. Uh, you okay. can find ATMs. Muy bien. Vamos a ver, Glenda, puede probar. Library, what is a library? Ese es un cajero. Library. It's a place where you pay, be, be. ¿cómo es comprar? Buy. Buy. Books. Books. Ajá. Ok. Un On... magazine. Ah, magazines as well. Ajá. Uh -huh. Um, tarjetas, como es? Gift. Mm -hmm. Gift, gift. Teacher, gift cards. What is that? Library, so, uh -huh. library que no es biblioteca. Mm -hmm. Por eso estaba dejando saber si reaccionaba. So, what is the difference between library? Book, is, book y book, book store. store. Acuérdense store. que incluso lleva la palabra store, que es una tienda. So, book. Library, store. entonces la biblioteca. Exactly. So we cannot buy food. Es que eso we cannot buy. Eso I know. <laughs> Pero pongamos la diferencia con book store. Acuérdense que store podemos comprar. Es una tienda. Entonces library no lleva la palabra store. Library store, no. So. Entonces, library is a place. It's a place where, where you. Where, where, where can. ¿Qué? ¿Dónde puedes? ¿Qué? Ajá. Look, you can entiendo? connect to internet, you can read books, you can, uh, I don't know, there are many activities. Read, read a book. Read a book and connect also to internet, right. And the last one, post, post office. What is that, Gustavo? What is a post office? David, con se carta. Better. Mm -hmm. uh, what's a post office? It's a place where you send the letter. Okay. What else can we do in a post office? Imaginen correo del Salvador. Esa es una post office. Hoy casi no enviamos. Quizás cartas. ¿Qué más enviamos a través de the post office? Paquetes. Exactly. Documents, right? Documentos más que todo, encomiendas. Medicine. So, medicines as well. Muy bien, medicina. Hasta comida envían la gente, ¿sabe? Even food. Medicines as well, right? So, that is a post office. So, imaginen los lugares ya un poquito más actualizados. Las library, más actualizadas. Las post office también. Bien. Recuerden, definición para el lugar que estamos describiendo. Definition. I am going to ask for these definitions tomorrow as well. And I'm going to mention some extra places. For example, what is a park? What is a parking lot? What is a supermarket? Okay, lugares que ustedes tienen que saber definir en inglés. Okay, si se fijan es vocabulario extra. Questions or comments about the activity from today. Places around, 
the town. New vocabulary or pronunciation? No? So I guess it's clear. Tomorrow we are going to continue practicing describing places, okay? So let us stop the class here and we are going to continue tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. Have a great afternoon. Bye bye, class. Bye. Bye, bye. bye teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Yes, see you tomorrow. Bye, bye, bye. teacher. Bye. bye. Take care. Okay.